In this video we're going to take a look at headers and footers in Word 2019 or Word 365. So a header is something that will appear at the top of every page in your document. You only have to put it in once but it'll appear on every page. Uh, and same thing with a footer, it'll just appear at the bottom of every page in a document. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. You can go to your insert tab up here and uh, you can choose a header or footer. Uh, if you do They've got a bunch of predefined formats, um, and uh, both for header and for footer, they probably look similar. And um, I never use these. Uh, the easiest way to get into the header and footer, you can tell where the header is. Uh, if you're in, let's go to our view tab here, and if you are in um, print layout view, uh, then you will see, and you have the ruler visible as well. Uh, then on the left side here you will see a gray area and that is the header area of the document. Uh, we've also got like a left margin and a right margin here and if you scroll down to the bottom of this page uh, you can see this gray area is going to be where your footer goes. Okay. And the easiest way to do this is just uh, go up here and make sure you're uh, well up above uh, this border here between the gray and the white and just uh, double click. And if you do uh, a couple of things happen. Uh, the cursor jumps up here. Uh, all of this stuff gets grayed out. So you, it lets you know that you're not editing the document anymore. And uh, the cursor is up here in the header. And uh, there are some tab stops. We haven't talked about tabs yet, but uh, we really don't need to talk about them too much. Uh, this is a predefined or preset tab stop, and it is right in the middle uh, between uh, the left margin and the right margin. So you've got six and a half inches here and you divide that by three, you get uh, by two, you get three and a quarter. And if I hit the tab key, now again, um, I have the show hide button pushed in so you can see um, paragraph marks and if I hit the tab key you can also see uh, that's what a tab looks like. It's just another character that gets inserted in your document and Word displays it as an arrow if you have the show hide button pushed in so you can see where you um, how you got over there. Did you get over there by pushing a tab character or did you get over there by um, just typing a bunch of spaces? So anything I type here uh, will be centered around this point. So it'll keep uh, readjusting the text so that it gets centered underneath this point. And if you hit tab a second time, uh, if you also look up here, there is the right margin indicator which looks like a little house. And also right on top of it is um, a tab stop which is a right tab stop. It's kind of hard to see right now, but if I go in here and grab it and, and drag it out, uh, it's a little backwards L. It's just a little square corner. And I'm going to drag it back over into the um, right margin marker. So if I hit tab a second time and I go over here, whatever I type in will be right aligned because that's what a right tab stop does for you. So um, going back to the beginning of the line here, at the beginning of the line, uh, anything you type will be left aligned. Uh, if you um, tab over, now I can't hit tab, well I guess I could hit tab again, but I'd be inserting an extra tab character in there, so I just uh, can just click over here as well. And whatever I type here now, watch what happens, it's going to stay aligned, so it is center aligned directly under this. And if you cl click and hold, um, hold your mouse button down while you're on that tab stop up there, uh, you'll see that uh, everything is uh, precisely centered underneath that point. And then if I go over here and type some stuff, whatever I type is going to be right aligned. So uh, anything you type on the left side will be left aligned, anything you type in the middle after hitting a tab key will be center aligned, and anything you type on the right side after hitting the tab key a second time will be right aligned. Okay, one other thing, um, when you are dealing with the header or the footer, um, you get this separate menu item up here called header and footer. If you click on that, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of options that you have for uh, manipulating the header and the footer. Uh, and there is a close button here on the right side that will let you close the header and the footer and it will gray out the header and the footer. It'll take you back into uh, your regular text. If you want to get back up here again, uh, I'm just going to double click. The easy way to get out is just to go down here and double click. You know, If you want to get in up here, you double click. If you want to get out, you double click down here in the body of the document. And we'll talk about more header footer options in the next video.